hey, wouldn't you like to do a loop grid layout like this? It's really, really simple with the words, you know, slightly coming out of the page, but it's on the page and you've got the whiteness of the page intersecting with the image. This is really simple. Uh, being completely done with Elemental's loop grid and there's no funky code or anything like that either, or even a code snippet. Really simple, let me show you how. So we have over here a container and it's got a box width of a thousand. I've just got 4040 at the top for some padding and that's about it. Inside of it, I've already gone and dropped in a loop grid. Now the loop grid you can get from over here when you type in loop, you gotta have Flexbox activated and obviously the loop grid as well. Now into here, I'm gonna click edit template because we're gonna create a really basic, again, template. This is gonna be a little bit different. And once you get understand how the, you do this, it's gonna open your mind up as to how to do things differently whenever you do blog posts. So we're gonna go here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the actual container and I'm gonna give this a background image. It's not gonna be just any image from your media library. It's gonna be your featured image. So let's go over here and click the dynamic tag there. And we're then gonna click featured image. I'm then gonna set this to be to the center right. So it means that we're always pushed over to the right hand side. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as that, no repeat. And it's also gonna be a cover like that. And that now fits in quite nicely. I'm gonna go back over to my layout and I'm gonna make this have a height of uh, 350 pixels high. Don't worry about the repeated images because we're just working in the template. When we jump out of this back into the proper page, it will reset itself. Now, while we're still in the container, I'm gonna go over here and say, align all of my items to be at the end. And I'm also gonna go to the advanced tab, a padding of 100 left. What that means is whatever I now drop into here, it's always gonna be basically there'll be a gap of about 100 pixels here, okay? Um, because I've got a grid of three, uh, well, three columns, and it's a thousand pixels, I know that this is gonna be, you know, about 300-ish whatever pixels. So the 100 there gives me a bit of buffer. Go back over to our widgets, and I'm gonna drop a container into here. Now at the moment, that container has gone all the way to the top, but can you see there's a gap here? Remember, that's because in our parent container, we have 100 pixels to the left. If I had gone and done something like this, you can see now it's gone and create a gap over there as well. Let's leave it at 100 pixels. Go back to the parent container, and even though we right aligned it, let's just put it to the bottom as well. Now let's go to the child container. I'm gonna say, make this have a white background like that. And the reason I'm doing that is it kind of matches the, the page color. Now that looks really ridiculously small because we don't have any content in there yet. Okay, let's go and sort that out. Let's go and drop in the title like this. Uh, your styling, sorry. Let's just go with Antonio like that. I'm just gonna make this be about 20. No, we'll go with 25. And the only other thing I'm gonna do here is for the actual child container, I'm gonna say, give me some padding as well. And we'll go with something like 15. So we just get a bit of a, basically a bit of padding. So if we now view this now, post title sits inside the child container. We've given it a color and a bit of padding, but it doesn't matter where you click here, it's not gonna take you to the post. What you need to do is go to the container, okay? Go down to where it has additional options. Uh, by the way, this is how it will look when you first come over here. It's gonna look like that, it will say default. You wanna change the HTML tag to be a link, click on the dynamic tags, and then go and click post URL. So if we now update that, and we hit save and back, by the way, like this, hit save and back. Before we go and view it, I'm gonna go and click on the query. I'm gonna say, give me about 60 like that, and probably about 60 spacing, roughly like that. And if we now just hit update, if we now go over to our page, you can see what it's doing. Now you could argue, well, the wording is wrapping and it's not completely even, you could modify that to work for you. So if I was to go back over here, hit edit template, okay, go and hit the uh, the child container. I'm now gonna set this to have a certain height. So I might go with something like, let's go with 120 like this. Now have our slightly different looking layout. And look, it doesn't matter where you click. I can click on the image. It's gonna go over to the post. We don't have a single post template created for this site. I could click on the wording. Again, it's gonna take me there. Okay, look, just to prove it, it works absolutely fine. And again, this is just another simple way of doing a really clean looking blog loop grid layout without any code or any other plugin. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that spark. 